Welcome back. Now, as Namibia prepares for tomorrow's special elections, the Electoral Commission of Namibia has been working diligently to ensure a smooth voting process, including the preparation and distribution of election materials across the country. Joining us to discuss the ECN's efforts is the CEO uh, from the ECN, Mr. Peter Shama. Good evening and welcome, sir. Good evening, you know. Thank you so much for being here. Thank to, you. to start with, uh, Mr. Shama, could you perhaps start by explaining to us the uh, logistics um, of distributing election materials nationwide and, of course, how this process then differs when it comes to sending um, materials to our diplomatic missions abroad? No, thank you very much. Let me greet our viewers and the nation at large. And uh, as I am about to update the nation, coming back to your question, as you know that uh, the elections for this year is set for two days. One is the 13th of November 2024 and the 27th November 2024. Tomorrow is a date set for special voting inside the country and also voting abroad at all our 35 diplomatic missions. So what we have done when we received the ballot papers on the 30th uh, October, immediately the following day we have distributed the materials uh, to all our 35 diplomatic missions that are distributed or have been distributed through a uh, 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 diplomatic bag with the assistance of Mirko uh, to all our diplomatic missions. As I'm talking, all the materials have arrived at all 35 diplomatic missions across, across the, the globe and the teams at our diplomatic missions are ready for the commencement of the poll tomorrow. So when it comes to the country, we are also having what you call special voting for specific category of, of voters. The materials have been also packed, distributed, and dispatched to all 14 regions across the country. Um, tomorrow, the nation or the, the teams are ready to commence with the, with the, the process. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about the measures, of course, that had to be taken to ensure uh, that the materials arrive um, on time and securely, especially in the more uh, remote areas of, of our country. So, as you know, that uh, the special voting is for specific job cate or, or categories of voters. Uh, one, these are the security class, members of the security, security clusters that covers the Namibian police, the defense, and members of the correctional services. So this is the category that uh, category one, and two is the second personnel that are uh, working in the sea. Um, and these are the voters that uh, will be required to be on duty on the 27. Hence, they are given this specific preference in terms of the law to vote uh, 14 days before. So the materials have been dispatched to all the, the regions as indicated, and uh, we have established 33 uh, 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 polling stations to save those categories mm -hmm. because uh, it's not everybody's indicated. Mm -hmm. So materials have been uh, transported under police escort mm -hmm. to all this, and they were secured or kept at the, at the polling station, uh, uh, police stations. They, will be, they were only accessed today to distribute, mm -hmm. as because today is the deplo deployment date of, of all the teams. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so that the teams are deployed today in preparation for the commencement of, of the poll tomorrow, of which the polls will commence seven o'clock in the country and at all our diplomatic missions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you show, share more with us on, you know, in terms of the training and deployment of the um, election officials and approximately how many 
um, officials will be mobilized for tomorrow's special election? Yeah, I want us to understand that, that um, tomorrow is, is a special voting. And the, the commission has not established any mobile team. It's only fixed teams mm -hmm. that will serve those categories. So what happened is that um, the, it's indicated that they, they will, uh, they will uh, 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 commence at uh, 7 o'clock. The teams will be deployed today so that tomorrow they commence the process. They are required to start already early in the morning, uh, 6 o'clock. They must do all the pre administrative work so that come 7 o'clock, they open polling stations. And these are, as I said, there are only 33 polling stations uh, uh, across the country. Can you walk us through the process of how the um, elections or the voting is managed at diplomatic uh, missions? What transpires? So the, the voting process is the same, whether it is a special voting day or whether it is a voting abroad. Mm -hmm. What should happen is that tomorrow the, the polling stations at all diplomatic missions are required to open 7 o'clock as I indicated. Mm -hmm. And then up, upon con close of the polls, 21 hours, which is 9 o'clock in the evening, uh, the presiding officers are required to commence the process of counting, uh, announce the results, paste the result at the polling station. That is what the law requires. Mm -hmm. And then after the pasting, after pasting of the election results, they will be required immediately to pack the materials so that the materials are returned back to the country. Mm -hmm. Because the voting abroad, we only have one returning officer mm -hmm. who is required to collate election results on the 27 after the poll. That's why the materials have to be sent back immediately so that they arrive in the country, they are kept safe at our stores, until the 27, when the returning officer for the diplomatic missions is required to commence the collation of all the 35 uh, diplomatic missions to have a total uh, figure for all the 35 diplomatic missions. Mm -hmm. Once the results have been counted and um, posted at the voting stations, when does the ECN make the results known to the general public? You see, the, the law requires that immediately after the, the counting announcement, you paste the result at the polling station. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? The moment you paste the, the uh, uh, election result, it becomes a public document. But of course, we need to wait until all these elections result from all the polling stations are collated by the returning officer mm -hmm. to get a preliminary election result for a constituency. In this case, is for the foreign mission. In their country, it will be the same principles to make sure that uh, this result for the, uh, all the 33 uh, polling stations in the country, each returning officer needs to keep this. Of course, the process is the same to announce, to count, announce, and paste the result inside the country also. But the collation will only take place on the 27 together with all the other the re election results or the votes that will be counted mm -hmm. on the, after the, 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 the close of the poll on the 27. Right. So we need to understand that. So all this that will happen tomorrow will remain still preliminary mm -hmm. until all these are collated together by the respective uh, retaining officers. And they still remain preliminary until they are sent to or transmitted to head office, to the National Election Results Center, where the commission will collate 
the national election result that will be referred to as final mm -hmm. na mm -hmm. national election result. Thank you very much for that uh, clarity. Also, Mr. Shama, we know, of course, that there's still an elect uh, an EC and has, the ECN has um, an elections or electorate um, uh, calendar. Uh, so what's next on the agenda after the special voting and the abroad voting happens tomorrow? What is, is next on the ECN's calendar? Yeah, I think it is, it's, it's very important to, for me to, to highlight the following that uh, when we released the, the, or launched our calendar, we have shared five key dates and electoral activities that are statutory and fundamental to the electoral calendar. These dates are the dates for the uh, general registration of voters, mm -hmm. uh, which was from the 3rd to the, uh, uh, June to the 1st August, mm -hmm. and then the nomination of independent candidates on the 14th, the nomination of uh, 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 by political parties, in, uh, uh, presidential candidates and members of parliament on the 16th, those are all fully executed. Mm -hmm. The fourth date is the, the 13th November 24, 20, 24, which is, we are to execute it tomorrow. The last one is in the, on the 27th and all the uh, 27th of, of November, and all the related activities. So when you look at now to the dates that are related to the, to the activities that are related to, to the 27, number one, we are in the process now to pack and distribute this non-sensitive material. We have already started uh, on, man, on Monday, uh, so that these materials are dispatched to all 14 regions in preparation of the 27. Mm -hmm. is the training of uh, uh, election agents and accounting agents submitted by political parties because they are required to, 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 to appoint election agents. is the training of uh, election officials that will mean the elections on the 27, which we are talking about 17,000 mm -hmm. unemployed Namibians, and then it's now the deployment of the of the of the, uh, uh, the the teams. But before that, they also the law also requires the commission to issue duplicate voters' cards mm -hmm. to those voters who will have their cards lost or damaged. Mm -hmm. In this case, the law is not uh, encouraging that we must our voters' card must get lost. But we are only saying the law is saying. In the case your voters' card is lost, the commission must issue a duplicate voters' card, taking from its own database, mm -hmm. and that process will take place from the 18th to the 26th November to allow for those who have lost, have their cards lost or damaged, to apply for a duplicate. That will be even written duplicate because it will be just generated from the database, mm -hmm. and then. It's also not for free. A person or a voter must go to the police, make a poli police declaration mm -hmm. to state the circumstances why he or she is applying for the duplicate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Mr. Sharma, that's unfortunately all the time we have this evening, but thank you so much uh, for joining us tonight. I'm sure we'll be speaking to you uh, again in the coming weeks. It was a pleasure engaging with you. And we are looking forward to further engagement as we are nearing the 27, because 13 is already over. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Have a blessed evening. That was uh, Mr. Peter Sharma in conversation with us there. We'll be right back after this very short break.